Jambo. What's up, man? It's Zero Clout TV. We back. I told you we only doing special episodes. You see now, we got a whole new aesthetic and shit like that. And I got my man, the young OG in the building. You know what I'm saying? We got big dog Joe Boy. We about to talk to him, get to learn his story and shit, where he from, learn about the young OG, the young OG too. The mob movement and everything he got coming and you know he got some new deals and things underway so we're gonna learn about that. Welcome to the show, you know wow. what I'm saying? Nice to meet you, man. Likewise, man. It's been a while I've been fucking with Holmes for a minute. I ain't gonna hold you up, so it's yeah. nice to finally sit down. So before we get into that, obviously, you know, I used to do the podcast week by week and shit, and now I be getting a little bit older, you know what I'm saying? Then turn into a more of a family man I'm at the crib holding it down. Also, I've been behind the scenes helping some people with some things. We got some shit cracking. We taking Arizona to a whole new plateau. We trying not to stay local. We trying to grow. We trying to expand. And we trying to make true impact and not be running circles around doing shit just on social media. So anybody who want to know what I've been up to, all you got to do is DM me. You know I'm always available if you got my number tapped in. But, um, yeah, you know, your boy Pots, I still fuck with y'all. Don't, don't you ever forget it. I also want to say is always girl power. You see the Roe vs. Wade shit? You see everybody talking about it? Man, it's that. everywhere. What you think about that, bro? Before we even get into your interview. Well, it's all positive to me. It's all positive. No, I mean, like... It's truth. It's righteous. Women's rights. You yeah, know what I'm saying? it's righteous. You like, know, you mean they, the... They, are, they should be fighting for that. Yeah, facts. You know, it, it, it's no different from how we should be on a daily basis in society. Facts. You know? It's no different from civil yeah. rights. So I just wanted to get his opinion. But I got two daughters... You know, I'm 1,000% girl power. I see they overturn the decision. I don't know the specific ramifications of what that means on a state-by-state -state basis, but I do know that a lot of places, abortion is not even going to be illegal, or legal unless it's like a life-threatening thing or some of that nature. And that's literally no different than civil rights. Like, you got to give women their rights, and we can't return to the dark ages. So hopefully that turns around. And like I said, man, it's girl power, so shout-out to the ladies. Don't let it get you down, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, so we're going to get into this interview, man. Like I said, I've been chilling. My man been working, you know what I'm saying? I actually went to your um, yo, release. Was it a release party? My listening party. Listening party, yeah. yeah. So where was it? We was at some game uh, spot in Mesa. That the, shit was, lounge, the lounge in Mesa. That shit was... We had a blast, man. We had a blast. Yeah, no, that shit was dope. I like how you move. And just from the way how you move, I want to know, like, so where are you from, born and raised, and just kind of get the people like your, your backstory and come up and shit like that? Crystal Springs, Mississippi. It's the country. It sounds like the country, don't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's the country. Man, it's just... It wasn't enough opportunity out there for me, mm -hmm. and I always thought my process, my thought process was faster than a, than most. Mm -hmm. And so I I took a, ch a chance and a leap of faith, and I moved to Arizona. Yeah. So how long did you live in Mississippi? I'm I stayed in Mississippi up until I was 23. Oh, you born in Brest? So yeah, we gotta get some of this country shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, most Mississippi definitely. down south is a big place for football. Did you come up playing football, sports, or something uh, like that? Basketball. That's different. Yeah, What's I played up? basketball, man. I was wrong. Oh, did you play college? No, nah, no. Nah, High school, college. though? I went straight to the Army after. Ah, after. Oh, nigga, we got yeah. some shit to talk yeah, about. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, so before we go to the Army shit, what was kind of like, like for, because motherfuckers from Arizona going to be watching shit. Yeah. What is like the Crystal Springs experience for somebody coming from out here? What does that look like, like a daily basis for a high school kid? Like y'all do y'all in the streets after school? Is it like gang culture? Is it like, like what's, what's just, what's it like in general? Well, at first I didn't start off in the streets. It, it wasn't until kind of after the army, you know? Okay. When, when I got got into the streets real tough because you know, it felt like a nigga didn't have no other option. You gotcha. Know? Okay. You know, you either, you know, with a high school education, it, it, it wasn't much you could do, but either go back to, to college. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I wanted to do college, but also I wanted to serve my country. Why? Why the <clears throat> Army? Because it's, it's, the Army teaches you more about loyalty to, than anything. Mm -hmm. You know, you stick. And thank you, you for your service. Right, thank you, thank you. And you stick with your battles. So just like out here on the streets, you 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 know who loyal to you for real, for real, for mm -hmm. real. You know what I'm saying? Cause like in the just like in the army, some some niggas are really are, are really go to war behind you. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And same way. So you like the brotherhood and shit. Yeah, like that. I like the brotherhood, and it's all about making it's for everybody that that's loyal to me, and we loyal to each other. Mm -hmm. You know. This this right here, the statement that we're about to make mm -hmm. is 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 for loyalty. 
Yes, sir. So how long yeah. was you in the Army? I was in the Army for two years. Two years? Why did you uh, get out after two years? Oh, I was done. <laughs> I was like, out of there. <laughs> you fucking off? I was out of there. Okay, all right. But uh, what if, if other than, uh, like, you talked about loyalty, like, what would you say the best thing your experience taught you in the Army? <coughs> Come back. <laughs> Elaborate Come back. on that. <laughs> Just know I got a lot of heart. Just know I got a lot of heart. That's all I can say. All right, last thing about that. What was your, like, job in there? Like, did you have to, where did you travel to? You know um, I mean? Some everywhere, some places. But we, we good. We, overseas yeah, or all? In the past. Yeah, oh, around here. Where you yeah. go overseas, man? Give yeah. us a shit. No, around here. <laughs> oh, all, yeah, all state side. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, okay, so coming from the Army, do you feel like that's part of the reason you decided to, like, Almost move around and shit and be like not afraid to like take that chance. I'm like, I'm just gonna go to Arizona. Definitely. Okay. Definitely. First of all, I keep God with me everywhere I go. You know, first and foremost, the head of my life. So that's why I say, you know, the only way they gonna stop this music is if they put me six feet. Yeah. You know, that's why I say I'm, I'm unstoppable. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Actually, I got a question. Um, yeah. So come in here. Do you know anybody? Did you have any family? Did you? Yeah, my brother was out here four years before I ran. Okay, got you. That yeah. make more sense. I'm like, you throw yourself just yeah. out there? Like, oh, yeah. just, that's yeah. some wild yeah. shit. Okay. Yeah. And so my brother was out here, and he came back and got one of my sisters. And then he came back out here and got another one. But the first sister he came out here and got, uh, she's actually a BBW model. And shout, shout out, out to her. Romiki, <laughs> yeah. I told me. Y'all go find her, but she 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 has over two hundred k IG followers, and she's she's also doing her thing. Yeah, man. I so love. you know, all glory be to God. You know, I I give credit where it's due. Yeah. All right, and Joe, but we're gonna go all the way into this music. But before yeah, we do, yeah, like yeah. I didn't travel far as all around the country. Yeah. Definitely been through the South. I've been in Mississippi, but I was only in Jackson. But oh, yeah. like I done been through the dirty, dirty South, like Montgomery, Alabama, you oh, know okay, what I'm saying? Okay, all okay, type okay, of shit. Okay, like that's okay. the South for the S-O-U-F. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So I need some of that country shit, man. So you got to give us something about Mississippi. Like tell us about fucking cookouts or something about what life was like in Mississippi before this army shit and all that. I, I got to know more of like what molds you. I and mean, shit. like you grew up with your grandma, you got your parents. How was, how was life, bro? Two words, surviving and hustle, you know? Yeah. It was all, everything that we learned. Is niggas is, cripping and blooding in Mississippi? Nah, nah, nah. Nah, it's I more mean, neighborhood. You, later on in life, they, those people came back around. Yeah. But I mean, you still got people from, they say they're from, from states, but actually from Mississippi. Yeah. That they, they moved to another state mm -hmm. and actually started blooding and creeping. Is it like GDs and shit in Mississippi? Ah, oh, man, it's a bunch of growth okay. and development out there. Oh, um, this nigga. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I mean, that's the proper, that's the proper pronunciation. Yeah, okay, but no, nah, but I, yeah. I, I'm trying to get a beat on it, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because like I said, I was only in Jackson, I didn't get to see too much. When I was in Alabama, I did see some blood niggas, I mm -hmm. seen a little bit of different shit, and it was a little like, being from the West Coast, you yeah. you used to that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Being out there, it was like, these niggas got the country twang, but they banging the same. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Exactly. So yeah. that's what I'm saying. I'm just trying to get a little beat on it. But all right, we'll leave it alone, man. Um, Leave that shit alone. But I fuck with Mississippi. Yeah, I actually yeah. interviewed, um, I, don't know, or I don't know if you fuck with football, them, them Dichi brothers. Yeah, I know. Them niggas was running, running yeah. crazy. I was interviewed the Zenny but Phantom they nigga. Was. Mm -hmm. Niggas a fucking nutcase. Mm -hmm. shout, shout out to that nigga, man. All right, so um, how you get your start in music? Like, you cut, did you start doing music in Mississippi or strictly when you got out the army? Well, it was always I had a couple of homies that uh, in high school they they rap, and they they made some noise. They made some real big noise. Shout out Rollo Taylor boy. Uh, Wait, Rollo, Rollo? No, no. Oh, no, okay. No. <laughs> I'm like, hey, what? Yeah, hey, that's yeah, big. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, Free Rollo. It's one of my. He's actually uh, one of my cousins. Y'all got the same last name, matter of fact. Whitey? Uh, no. I, I thought your last name was Pyle. No, it's the Somebody, not, somebody name. Yeah, but no, no, no. Game the government. No. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man, uh, they was rapping or whatever, and man. It, it was just, it was always a pleasure to see somebody that I grew up with or guys that I grew up with and they evolved their music. Mm -hmm. And so it was it was already kind of a passion of mine in high school. I was very good at English. I had all A's in English. So, you know, vocabulary was never a problem for me. Yeah. I know how to make bars 
you know, mm. come out like that. Sometimes yeah. you can catch me freestyling for two, three hours, you feel me? Yeah. So it don't even matter. No, that's good, bro. The yeah. best the best artists definitely paid attention to English class. Mm -hmm. Niggas is literary. Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. just to be able to play with words like yeah. that. It's not easy. Yeah, my, my literature is very insane. It's it's crazy. Yeah. So when do you feel like or actually no, I got a better question. How did you start cultivating your sound? Like who are your influences musically and shit? Honestly, a lot of people say I sound like Boosie, but you know, I listened to Wayne growing up. You know, mm -hmm. it was always a debate, Wayne or Boosie, who your favorite artist? Down yeah, South? Yeah, yeah. You know, that both of them from Louisiana. Yeah. That type shit. And it, Wayne, just lyrical genius, all aspects. Yeah, you facts. Know? And it's just, he brought English to life. Facts. Uh, whatever, everything that we learned in high school, he brought it to life, actually. But Boosie, it was a different type of vibe. It was more of a, a nigga, street real. vibe. And yeah, I, yeah. I don't even call it street vibe. I call Boosie a real vibe. Like, even if you ain't... Nigga, you can feel that shit, nigga. I'm yeah. telling you. Like, Boosie yeah. could preach to yeah. a fucking white boy going through something different but parallel. Like, Boosie almost reminded me of Tupac, bro. Yeah. So when he get real deep. Because yeah. everything he do, like, he bleed through his pen. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, That's my favorite definitely. nigga damn near. Yeah. Other than Pac. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people say I sound like Boosie, but it's like... I I guess there's just this southern thing, you know, yeah. what I mean? that people they catch up on. But I have no certain style, so you I sound like me. Yeah, you about to start sounding like one of them Arizona niggas yeah. soon. Nah, you about to lose nah, that accent, nigga. nah, 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 nah. <laughs> that country ain't gonna never come out of me for yeah. real, for real. All right, so before I go into the young OG and the young OG two shit, mm -hmm. I do want to ask because you didn't throw yourself into this Arizona bullpen. You know what I'm saying? Man, How no do you cool. feel like you uh, musically? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, musically, yeah, it's some yeah. talented motherfuckers. Yeah, it's some talent. I mean? It's very talented. Definitely yeah. still not playing in the big yeah. leagues. I mean, it's a little sort of amateur. But see, I wasn't. But... I wasn't talking about like that in 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 a certain aspect. I was just talking about like a. The reason why I came to Arizona is because my brother proposed it to me. It's like, you could come out here and do your music. So I mm -hmm. did my research on Arizona. Gotcha. Arizona is still a wide open market. Yeah, facts. And with, with, whether people know it or not, in the next two or three years, this is going to be the new California. I think it got a chance. And the crazy thing, shout out uh, Young Emmett. I think a lot of what he's doing going to open shit yeah, up. Because it, it takes one shout motherfucker. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Genuinely. Yeah. All I think, it takes. I think it takes one motherfucker all to open takes. up to get the eyes on Yeah, there. and once they get you know the eyes saying? in there, the eyes going to start turning into, you know what I'm saying, personal appearances. You know, yeah. people really want to come out here and see what all the fuss is about. Like, Facts. I heard this one hard artist. Now I'm trying to see if it's an artist down here that that actually just blow me away. No, nah, that's how it works. That's how the flood gets. It's no different than fucking NBA scouts showing up exactly. to a college exactly. game or a high school game. They see, or they come in to watch this person, mm -hmm. but in the midst of doing that, they're like, oh shit, breaking down. The same you know thing what I'm saying? Like, combine, right? That's how it works. It's the same thing. So, um, all right, but yeah, where do you, like, is, do you rank yourself? Do you feel like, like, where do you feel like you at amongst these niggas out here locally? Like, I ain't talking about what you building for yourself. I mean, yeah. Arizona shit, cause now you out here. I'm hard. But I'm definitely in my own lane, so I wouldn't say because I don't I don't sleep on nobody. It's just me doing me. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm not watching nobody. I'm watching myself. I'm not hearing nobody. I'm hearing myself. Yeah. Of course, I'm seeing the little things that's happening within the community or mm -hmm. whatnot. But so far as anything else, I'm I'm definitely in my own lane. Yeah. I'm my own type of artist. I don't sound like nobody. And it's very hard to mimic me. Yeah, and that's how you need to be, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, to, yeah, yeah. And not even just music, just to be successful. You got to mm -hmm. get tunnel vision. So right, that's actually right. a wonderful exactly. answer. You know thank what I'm saying? You, thank you. All right, so, um, all right. And then, um, so you got the Young OG and the Young OG 2 on all the streaming mm -hmm. platforms and shit. But other than that, you got like, did you drop mixtapes first? Or is those the first projects you put out and you went directly album? Nah, I got a few mixtapes uh, that I put out. Uh, EP, that's what I started off with. And then a single. And then... Uh, a mixtape you can find on Spinrilla. Gotcha. Uh, uh, shit. Shout out to mixtape. What's the name of the mixtape? Uh, Spinrilla. Uh, Every day was the first one. Every day was the first one on Spinrilla. Uh, the second one was Young OG, and we 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 changed Young OG around uh, and came out with a two that turned into an album actually. Because nah. it's a difference between the mixtape and the album. Yeah. Well, to me it is. Yeah, oh, but definitely. An album, you know, I ain't gonna get too in depth. What's with the it. no? What's the, yeah? What's the difference to you? Yeah, I just mean, just the, for like, what's the difference between a mixtape and an album? I think that's a good for from your I perspective. I mean, mixtapes, um, mixtapes are just a wide variety of different different catalogs of beats, mm -hmm. and uh, 
and people just throwing together, throwing together, putting together a, 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 just a range of different sounds to introduce to the world for free. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But albums, when you get to albums, you actually owning the rights. You have paperwork on these beats. Mm -hmm. You have electronic copies of these of these agreements and mm -hmm. all of these. But that's what separates the albums and the mixtapes yeah. for me. Because mixtapes, a lot of people really just snake beats off of what they don't care about. <laughs> Tight beats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't care about where it come from, what producer. You snatch it off of YouTube, SoundCloud, whatever the case might be. Mm. But album, you you actually got some ownership in that. Yeah. You know you what I'm saying? Money. And okay. you made money. And it's a it's a collective of works that that gets you paid. So yeah. album just structure, mixtape, just whatever. Yeah, you yeah, just throwing, you giving the people yeah, some you shit just to giving keep the people them. to keep them occupied. Yeah, like, okay. yeah, this, like I know you remember back in the day, some some guys they drop an album, then they might not drop an album for two three years. It, it's just strictly mixtapes and stuff. Nah, singles. I remember, and that's why I you asked know? your opinion because my opinion on it was really just I felt like albums were more like movies. Mm -hmm. They got a plot line, they kind of follow like a storyline. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Beginning, middle, end. You get a climax, blah blah blah. blah. Mm -hmm. If you got a well structured album, mm -hmm. mixtapes like you said, it's a wide variety, so it's mm -hmm. kind of just all over the fucking yeah, place. Yeah, definitely. You just really throwing out verses yeah, and yeah. free shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like that's yeah. kind of how I feel. So yeah. I was like, I wonder if he feel the same. Yeah, that's yeah, really why yeah. I asked. All right, but um, okay. So right now the movement is the uh, Young OG too. So just tell us first, like how you came up with it. Other than obviously we know Young OG is a catalog, but like yeah. what does that exactly mean to you? You know what I'm saying? And then like where you, how far are you plan to take it marketing wise and shit like that? Young OG is originally started off is to see life clearly for what it was, mm -hmm. and that's the whole album. Yeah, you know it. it it's life clearly for what it is, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, start from the track list, Young OG intro. You know, it, it tells you a bunch of a bunch of street shit that, yeah. that went on and, and categorized it in different aspects. Mm -hmm. And then you came straight in with Mob. Yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah, saying? That, it, 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 it's, it's, it's life for what it is. Yeah, do you, or like, or what I'm asking is, did like the older niggas in your hood when you was young call you like young OG like you like an old soul? Like... Yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay. I mean, people still tell me that to this day. Mm -hmm. They be like, man, you just, you you the youngest of the camp with an old soul. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Okay, that makes sense. And then how far are you planning to take it like marketing wise? How many more videos you got coming for it? And then what, what? If you can keep this all in line, if not, I'll ask again. What can we expect with the mob video? Because we all seen the clip, so let us know. You know what I mean? So mob is it's a movement. It's a, it's a, it's definitely a positive movement. It's a righteous movement of outstanding individuals. You know what I'm saying? Is is everybody coming together as a collective in positive and in, in, in righteous endeavors? You know, yeah. is that's basically all it is. You know, and we all. We lit. We ain't got no time to be mad at each mad at each other. I ain't got no beef with you. You shouldn't have no beef with me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's mob is po is positive. How Very. fun was the video shoot? What was that like? Ooh, shout out Dub. Fun? Shout out Dub. Dub did an amazing job. Shout out Dub. Man, Dub, he does beautiful work. I gotta commend that brother. And you know he he definitely he wanted to go crazy. And I told him I, I had when he he made it to the uh painted tiger i had told him i was like bro i wanted to give you some lit and you know what i'm saying like i see you shoot a lot of video but you ain't never had nothing just crazy yeah. hype you know what i'm saying you know but she he was like hell yeah i know what you're talking about so, that top angle yeah was crazy. yeah yeah I ain't so hold he you. was like that's when I was like, damn, I low key. I should have. Honestly, been. that wasn't. <laughs> honestly, that wasn't the original plan for the. That, no, that's what made it really different. The original, I, that shit was hard. Yeah, the, and but what we got out of it, it was it was a piece of art. Yeah. It was, it was definitely a piece of art. Yeah. Okay. And then you still didn't answer question, but I know I asked a lot of questions. Yeah. You see, go we, ahead, we, go we, ahead, we go get ahead. lit now, so oh, it okay, be like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. What? How far are you gonna take the young OG? Like, you gonna be pushing this for a minute? You got something else you finna drop behind it? You know what I mean? Yeah, everything leads to something else, especially with me. Just, just know it's, it's going to be something that, that really, it's going to be like, this is what I'm expecting. But when the next thing you hear, you're going to be like, 
Miles gonna drop. Yeah. Definitely. All right, now yeah. I'm gonna ask you some real nigga shit. Just yeah, cause yeah, I feel like these questions getting a little cliche yeah. and shit like that. But um, coming from Mississippi, you had never probably been to Arizona before. You said your brother was here. Was it a struggle for you, like dealing with like now you come into this world all these Mexican hoes and all this that and the third? Like, was it a struggle or or you do you fuck with the Latinas? Like, how is that? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah do they yeah. fuck with you? Hell yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> my, my, actually, my barber is is Mexican. Okay. Yeah, but he is. Hard. No, I'm talking about the bitches though, like, cause I feel like. This is my thing. Like I said, I traveled a lot. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And I would always tell niggas, where, where, no matter where I was in the South, Florida, Atlanta, Alabama, m m fucking Mississippi, mm -hmm. I'll tell niggas, like, bro, if you out west and you move the right way, you're going to have them in a bag I mean, just because you they, got the accent and they shit. They cute. They cute, but my mind is on my music. You know? Uh, well, you still got Honestly, gotta, I'm, I'm just in that type of headspace. You yeah. know, it, it's, it's strictly tunnel vision because. So, of bitch, jump in your DM right now. You're going to say I'm busy making music. What can, <laughs> what can you do for my music career? I, I'm calling Cap, but we go. Look how somebody, if you, you got, think so? You if really one of these so? girls in his DM see you this really shit, think so? screenshot the shit. Yeah, you this really, nigga, you responding to stories can, and look, shit. Look, look, <laughs> look at my face. Look at my face when I tell you. Hard eyes. What can you do for my music career? If you can't tell me that, then we have no dealings. But if he tell the truth, impressive. Because yeah. I do, like I said, that tunnel vision yeah. shit, that's yeah. how you become highly successful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. Yeah. All right, so um, I just have to ask you some bullshit real yeah, quick yeah. to get you all, you know what I mean, get some energy yeah, out yeah. your ass real quick. <laughs> all right, um, other than fucking music, nigga, what are you into? I know you said you play hooped a little bit. Like, yeah, you got any business ventures you want to get into? Are you a family man? Like, wh who is Joe Boy? Other than if I don't even fucking like music and I'm like, I want to know who this nigga is, who, who is Joe Boy outside of that? I could throw down. I ain't going to lie. I've been wanting to see What can you cook? I've been wanting to see food, boy, for a couple of days, man. Uh, you know, if you do it, call niggas. <laughs> say cool. less, say less. But I'm the done with this cooking shit, man. I can cook all day. Cook. Yeah, down yeah, south yeah. niggas be cheat code. Yeah, niggas nah. try to cook for it the bitches no, to steal them. I know. <laughs> Shout out my nigga Capo. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I know what niggas be on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Come to my crib, you gonna get you a nice five course meal. <laughs> yeah, see, niggas is hey. Don't let yeah. them get you. We, I'll take you out for a five course meal. We gonna still eat. Nah, you ain't gotta go out nowhere, cause I cook for you, baby, and we'll shout out to feed you the same take them time. To take them to different point of view. It's off the mountain, you can see, I'm telling you. Hey, yeah. take you, take me to the water park. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, nah, man, you a cool nigga, man. You got some dope ass music. Right. I heard some unreleased shit. I'm excited to see what you got coming. Last question I wanna ask is, First of all, shout out my man Bailey. You know what I'm saying? I see him making a lot of moves and doing his thing. I know he got a new management situation and shit like that. You want to speak on like your situation as far as like any management and shit like that? Yeah, M and B management. It's it speaks. It's gonna speak for itself, whether you know it or not. But you'll see the work. You're gonna see all the positive influence that that we we both combine our brains together, and we just gonna push it out. I. I got a team that, that that really wants to see me thrive and that I already know that I have I have what it takes to make it all the way to the top. Yeah. Shout out your team, bro. Shout out my team, man. You know what I mean? Whoever you get. No, man, I'm saying man. shout out your team. Shout out my yeah. team, man. <laughs> <laughs> I already said tonight, M and B management, you know what's uh, going on, I'm man. Like, yeah, all right, man. You know what's going on? Do I gotta put wait till I put on the chain first or something? Yeah, hey, hey. I wanna see a oh, chain. Oh, we definitely waiting on our chains. No, by the way. I mean, by first, the way. First of all, the artists getting the chain first. I don't care what hey. nobody say. Bailey, you better send me one. You better pull up like King Von in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Or I'm sorely hey, disappointed. Bailey told me, hey, when I come knock on your door, <laughs> it's ready. definitely going to be so good. Nah, be yeah, ready. Shout out to Bailey, shout man. Shout out to Bailey and Chris, man. They, they, they two amazing individuals, you know. They knew exactly what I, what I needed. Yeah, and like I said, bro, I'm excited to see where you go. I came to do this interview because I was like, for one, I fuck with Bailey, I was, but I was like, I fuck with his music. Like, yeah, I want to yeah, come yeah, talk yeah, to him. We've yeah. been supposed to do this for yeah, a minute. For a minute. And I ain't done a podcast in a long time. So, you know, well, a couple months ago, my cousin Emmy, and then I did Ben Fly, I did who else mm -hmm. we do, a couple chicks and shit like that. Other than that, I've been being very selective, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So I'm happy to have you here, man. Thank you, bro. Anything Thank else you, you want to say before we close out? <sighs> yeah. Y'all keep an eye out for Joe Boy, MB Management. We coming for everything, and it's well deserved. We got what it takes to 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 make it all the way. 
And it's your boy Pie, son. And it's your boy Joe Boy. We about to be about this bitch. Shout out to all my Arizona niggas out there, everybody worldwide. And I keep fucking with your boy, Zero Cloud TV. And we give you a quick shine moment. We gone, baby!